Hey guys, so today I'm going to teach you how to make the double layered flowers and I've already started this one just to demonstrate what it will look like. We're going to be making five petals on each of these um, rings here and again you can use a smaller one, you can use a bigger one, you can add more of these petals or you can do just four if you prefer. It's totally up to you. Um, to start I have my five foot cords here. So we're going to require two pieces of cord for each um, section of square knots. These are five feet and what I've done is I folded it so that this portion right here, this is going to go on the in inside of the square knot. So we're going to be knotting over these ones. These are to 16 inches. Okay, so the total length is five feet long, but I folded it so that the inside cord is 16 inches long or 40 centimeters. So I'm just going to take that as it is. I'm going to attach it with the Lark's head knot, so making that loop where the fold was, going over, and then I'm going to hold that into place so that it doesn't um, get too long or too short, so it stays pretty much how we folded it. Once more, I have that shorter piece on the inside, so this one's on the inside as well. We're going to go over with the fold open it up, pull it through. So that's what it should look like and both of these center ones are the 16 inch ones. Now I'm going to start making the square knot so the center two will stay in place. I'm going to take the left hand cord, go over those center two to make sort of a figure four and then I'm going to take that right hand cord, the other long one, I'm going to go over that one behind, pull it through that loop. That's the first half of the square knot. And then to finish it, we're going to go from the opposite direction. So a figure four with the right, right cord, take the left cord, go over that one behind and through that loop and just tighten it up. So you can see there's our first square knot and we're just going to repeat that until we have um, 19 in total. Now that I've done all 19 of the square knots, the ends look like this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tighten that last one there. And then I'm going to take scissors and I'm gonna cut this down, not too, too short. So just these two, please, please, please leave these center too long because that's how we're gonna attach it to the ring. But first I want to so I can see that this is going to be the front. So I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to hot glue gun these down towards the back so that they're not visible at the front. Okay, so that part's done. Now how to attach it to the ring. So I'm just going to move this over a little bit. And then I'm going to take what we've done here and I'll take this very first cord. Okay, sorry, it's kind of awkward with this camera positioned like this. So I'm going to leave that second cord down here. I'm going to take the first cord. I'm going to go over that, that ring, pull it out to the left so it's just hooked over like that. And now I'm going to take this cord and go in front of the cord that we just put over the ring, behind. So now, oops, now we're left with this little loop here. And I'm going to take this cord after it's gone behind that ring, 
and pull it down and through that loop. So now we have that nice lark's head knot. And with this excess cord, I'm just gonna push it behind that one so it's not in sight. And now we're gonna do the same thing over again. So I'm gonna go over, I'm gonna pull it behind, but from the left-hand side. And now we have it nice and tight there. And I'll take it and go behind that ring over and through that loop. Okay, so that's all there is to it. Now that that's done, I'm gonna flip it over. I'm gonna pull it nice and tight. Trim it down and add a little bit of glue. You can use fabric glue if you don't have a glue gun. The only problem with that is that it takes quite a bit longer to dry. So the whole project ends up being a little too long for my liking. So there we go. And again, if you're using a, a smaller ring, you can leave it with four for this one. That's no problem. But for myself, I like the size. So I'm going to push this over and I'm going to repeat the exact same steps one more time right here um, so that I have five in total. Okay, first one's all done, and now I'm just going to repeat the exact same steps with the exact same measurements, everything the same, on a second ring, so that we're going to have two of these guys in total. Okay, you can see I have done five petals on each of my uh, metal rings, and now the next portion we are going to make the pom-pom for the center out of macrame cord. Um, I'm using one of these pom-pom makers. It's three inches. I got it, I believe, either Amazon or Michael's Craft Store, but you do not need one of these to make pom-poms. There are literally a thousand ways and a thousand YouTube videos. Um, you can make them with cardboard. You can make them with forks. You can buy the pom-pom for the middle. And if you prefer, you can put something else in the center or nothing at all. So all you have to do is go to your search bar for YouTube and search how to make a pom-pom. And there are literally thousands and thousands of videos. So if you don't have one of these, don't worry. But if you do want to get one or you have one handy, this is the three inch pom-pom maker. So I'm just taking more of the four uh, millimeter cord and what we're going to do, we're just going to wrap it all the way around here. And then I want it to finish up at this end because I'm going to close it and then start on this side. I'm going to speed this video up, but if you need to slow it down, just hit the three little dots on the right hand side. So that's about full. I do it so that it's just, just filling up that little um, gap piece. So now I'm gonna place that string towards the end, hold it in place, and we're going to close this, okay? And now we're just going to take that cord and do the exact same thing on this side.
So now to cut it, I have these little scissors. You don't have to use them. I just find that it works better because, let's start from this side. We're gonna go right up this little uh, center part here and it guides you to make sure that it's cut evenly. So once more, I'm just gonna snip the whole way around. And when I get to this part, I'm gonna make sure I cut right through that as well. Okay, so now that I have snipped it the whole way around, I'm going to take a piece of yarn and I chose this yarn. You can use a really thin macrame cord as well, but I just chose a nice sturdy yarn, but that's still very thin because, let's find the center. We're going to place it through that slit. Okay, so it comes up here and I'm going to make sure this is important that this part's tight. So I'm pulling it all the way up. And then from there, my first knot, I'm gonna make the nurse knot, but I'm gonna go once through and twice because that's gonna help it um, stay so it doesn't loosen up. And we're gonna tie it really, really tight. And now to reinforce that, I just do it once more. So I go around to the opposite side We're going to do one, two, and pull it really tight. Okay, now, oop, and these do come apart, so that's no big deal. And this is the point we're at. This is what it looks like, and that is completely normal and fine. What I'm gonna do, you can use a hairbrush, you can use a comb, anything. I like a metal pet comb, it just works the best. And we're just gonna start to comb these out. Okay, so now go through and you look and just make sure that for the most part, it's combed out and the twist is gone. So you can see my big pom-pom is done. Now we're going to put together our flower. So we're just gonna make sure everything is in order and straight. And what I like to do is I like to make sure that everything is positioned so that these are all in between each other nicely. So if you have to make any adjustments around here or the bottom one, Definitely do that before you glue because that is kind of the final outcome of what it'll look like. Okay, so you can see that's lined up quite nicely. So I'm just going to pick this up, put some glue all around the bottom one, and then just carefully put that into place. Okay, so if you can see it, like it's even beautiful just like this hung on a wall. Now how I'd hang it was I, I'd put one tiny little nail in the wall and just center um, your rings on it. So then you don't have one that's pulling up here too much or a string sticking out. It just gives it a more uniform look like it's kind of floating on the wall. And now I've left these two strings uh, long and we're gonna put those through the center. Now, if you've been watching my videos, you know I like to really reinforce things. So I'm gonna reinforce this two ways. Just make sure that it looks good. That looks good to me. So the strings are already through there. I'm just gonna add some glue underneath. Gonna let that dry for a couple minutes. Okay, now I'm just gonna gently flip it over. 
I'm going to take these strings. Now you can use a needle and then thread it through um, right through there where we glued it into place. Or because the pom pom is big enough, we can loop it around one of these. So I'm just going to just as a special as an extra reinforcement. Again, this part is not necessary, but I like to just in case. And there we go. There's your macrame flower.